another episode of D-Ray's Garage where today you're gonna to see me do a TCU upgrade and a few pulls to walk you through what that transmission and ECU upgrade meant to my 2015 Mark 7 Golf R. There was also an ECU upgrade, both stage one, which we performed on that, but that was done on the bench at 03 Full Motorsport out in Northern California because my particular unit wouldn't respond to the dongle that was sent to me to do at home. So uh, be mindful of that if you're a Golf R owner. Anyway, enjoy the video. If you have any questions, post those down below. All right, so here we have the 034 tuning gear. Comes with an OBD2 connector. And a cable. USB at one end, and one of those funny looking printer connectors for the other. So that's all pretty straightforward. All right, so here's the get up. Got our battery tender here, hooked onto the battery over here. It's all going. And then the car, got a power source here, laptop. So this is what we're gonna get out of uh, this TCU tune that we're about to put on. No kick downs, manual, launch control enabled, which it already is on the R. Uh, gear display indicator, love that. Means when it's running in auto, it's gonna tell you what gear it's in, so you know how, whether you wanna pump it down or up to if you're doing a pass or something. Launch control, uh, RPM is raised. So when you've got your jamming on that brake and you've got the accelerator all the way down, It'll go all the way to 3,700, roughly, assuming the ECU is tuned accordingly, on all wheel and 3,400 on front wheel. Shift speeds reduced. It optimizes the shift points in sport mode and in general improved responsiveness. I'm not sure how readily uh, obvious that's gonna be, but that's what we're supposed to get out of this. So let's make sure the firewall is off here. Yep, that's still off. I'm going to connect this fella, which is our OBD2 connector, and the cable associated with it going in through USB into the computer. Okay, got a blue and reddish purple light in there. We're on the Client. All right, let's plug this in. I forgot I had the door closed here, so hopefully I can reach down. If you don't know where your OBD2 is, it sits right beneath this little handy uh, pocket down here where I actually haven't used it. So I guess I need to use that more. All right, so that is still showing down there. I don't know if you can see that far down. Let's see, see that light down there. That's it. You don't need to see the screen as much because I'm gonna record that separately. So let's now, it should work and we're looking for the TCU. So yeah, we have the ID. Let's click next. The tune, there is only one on here. And the calibration. Choose that is the calibration. Well, we're not doing stock, are we? So let's try it again. Let's see what happens if the 
lights get crazy up here. Calibration, the variant, successful burn, that's good news. And I pulled the VIN out, so uh, now it says to log out, turn off the car, unplug this guy. Okay, so let's turn it on. Hope for the heck nothing bad happens. See the oil change on there. We're gonna get rid of that in a second. Low on fuel. I think we all know how to fix that. Light. What else? Unsurprisingly, the clock is set to 12 o'clock, so we'll fix that. Obviously, we'll test drive it later because we want to know how that ECU and TCU mapping came together in perfect harmony, don't we? 